Hi everybody, PJ here with legendary Paris coach and former Paris champion of Canada, Chris Wirtz, coach of none other than Kirsten Moore Towers and Dylan Moscovich. So Chris, I snagged you here in the hallway after a very solid free program I thought that showed tremendous ma maturity on the part of the kids. I want to know about your strategy, trying to turn the page after a very long season last year. How, how do we get here in August? After sitting with Christy, choreographers, Dylan and Kirsten, we just figured that uh, to break into that next spot, uh, which is the top five teams in the world, uh, we had to explore a whole new and a whole different avenue. And technically the team's great, artistically the team's great, so I find that the programs that they have this year demonstrate this. Uh, they did sk skate solid today, and you know, their expectations were to be clean. Uh, their coach is kind of happy that it wasn't perfect. I uh, was very excited that they got out there and showed everybody two great performances. So tell me why you wouldn't want to see perfection in August, so that the fans understand the coaching strategy. Well, it, elements are elements, programs are programs, but the thing is, is that when you work two months, three months on a program, there's still a lot of growth to the program. If it hits the top end really fast, uh, you accept it, you love it, don't get me wrong, you love it. Uh, but when things happen and little mistakes here and there click in, uh, you're working towards running fast to the finish line instead of trying to coast. Uh, and I've always found with my team that I love running, so I'm just going to keep running them. So does it make sense to you that um, any kind of mistake is a learning opportunity? And how do you, how do you wrangle that um, with them? Well, mistakes are going to happen even on perfect performances because there's no such thing as a perfect performance. Uh, but the thing with the mistake is, is that it's always the headspace going into it. When you're talking about a high-level athlete who's probably at about 80 to 90 percent trained, uh, you should still be able to get it done. So obviously, we just got to work on the thought process and make sure that they can develop the right things going into the elements. My word to describe Kirsten and Dylan is personality. What's your word to describe them? Excitement. Wonderful. Thanks so much for talking to me. Not a problem. Okay, Chris. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.